Good morning. Happy Monday, March 1st, everybody. Try to figure out a way to get Isaac in here. Um, just so you guys could see how great he's doing. Um, Do I have to I wanted to share from Mark um, something the Lord just blessed me with this morning. So we all know from reading the Gospels and many solid Bible teachings we've heard over the years that Jesus, um, he was not too happy with the Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes. He often had his strongest rebukes for the religious leaders. And so they, the religious leaders of the day, were trying so hard to follow rules and procedures and religion and just, you know, check all these boxes and do all these right things and accomplish all these deeds, you know, whether it was tithing or fasting or ritual hand washing. That's what I had read this morning. Um, you know, you can't touch somebody on the Sabbath. You can't move an item on the Sabbath, do any work on the Sabbath. And they just were so religious. And it said, Jesus said, you know, he rebuked them in Mark chapter seven. And he says that you teach as you teach the doctrines of man as if they were the commandments of God. And it just really struck me how we as Christians, as lovers of Jesus Christ, as followers of Yahweh, we've got to get this right in that we don't become so religious and so consumed with tradition that we neglect the Holy Spirit and that we neglect when God does want to change things up. You know, we, we, we don't walk away from the Bible or from, you know, the things that God tells us to do. For example, there's a common thing that we hear a lot. Oh, well, I do love Jesus. I have accepted him in my heart, but I don't go to church. I don't need the church because I commune with God on my morning runs or I commune with God when I go hiking in the mountains. So I don't need church. I don't need organized religion. I do love Jesus. I do read my Bible. I'm good. You know, we hear this from people. Um, that's not what I'm saying in terms of we, the Bible does make it very clear. Uh, do not forsake the assembling together, whether you're watching online or in, per in person, obviously with the coronavirus. Um, I know like in the East Coast, I believe there's still a lot of churches that aren't open at all. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is us being very careful and guarding our heart from becoming religious and traditional. I guess that's what I'm saying. We don't want to teach as doctrine what are just our, our traditions. So, you know, for example, as part of Calvary Chapel, I love how Pastor Chuck started a movement of teaching line upon line. And I need solid Bible teachings. But if every once in a while, you know, Pastor Joe, Pastor David Rosales, somebody, you know, on the radio might want to teach a topical study on marriage. I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, that's not teaching line upon line. That's a topical Bible study. This pastor is backslidden because, you know, yeah, they're going to quote scriptures here and there, but they're not teaching line by line by line in this um, teaching on marriage. So, you know, be gone with you, pastor so-and-so wanting to teach a series on marriage. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but what I'm saying is we've got to be really careful to not be so rigid in our Christ following. We are spirit-filled, spirit-led. We worship God in spirit and in truth. We want to be evangelical, sharing the gospel with people, sharing the truth with people. You know, I've been feeling like, Lord, I want to have, you know, a daily, um, the daily bread, you know, those little devotionals or a scripture or a snack or something. So if somebody's homeless or if I have an opportunity, I want to give them a piece of God's word, some scriptures, you know, Gideon's Bible, something. We need to get the gospel out because, you know, Jesus is coming soon. We want to be bold in these last days. But, you know, we have to just be really careful not to be so tied up in Basketball. formula. 
because Jesus was not That's about good. formula. Jesus was about reaching that individual person with the truth of, of God's love. And it was different for everybody, you know. Um, but the woman that was caught in adultery, Jesus said, you know, where are you, your accusers? Go and sin no more. He didn't ask anything about That's the man, about. the dude. He just, That's you know, about. used that opportunity to get down on his knees and talk to this woman caught in the act of ad adultery and he forgave her the woman at the well it was different he dialogued with her a little bit more and he said you know where's your husband and you know he revealed to her that he was the messiah and i who speak to him he the one that you know the jewish people are looking for so jesus knew and he was so in tune with the father's heart how to meet people as people you know, I am reading in, as I've been sharing, um, Jesus and Me by Anne Graham Lotz. And she said, it's, it's none of our jobs to help. No, excuse me. It's none of our jobs to make a person accept Jesus. Our job is just to plant those seeds. And then it's the Holy Spirit's job to convict the person. So I was thinking, gosh, for friends that I've known, that bear that weight that they have prodigals in their life and they feel like I've failed. I taught them the scriptures. I loved on them. I took them to Sunday school and they do not want anything to do with Jesus. I failed. I know, I know a lot of parents that feel this way. Not so because the scripture says it's, it's the work of the Holy Spirit unto salvation the holy spirit will convict them and chasten them those seeds have been planted god's word doesn't return void but the holy spirit is the one that does it i guess what i'm trying to say is we have to be careful not to be so religious that we're just um treating people like projects when there are people that have deep problems and we need to look at others through the lens of christ and not become traditional religious freaks I want to be known as a Jesus freak. I want to be known as someone that loves Jesus. I want to ooze Jesus. I want to shine for Jesus. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. Yes, I. it's okay if somebody calls me a Jesus freak. I take that as a compliment. But we don't want to be religious freaks like the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes or even like, like Muslim jihadists. They're religious freaks. They're so bound by their traditions and their religion that they will kill others and think that they're doing God a favor. It's, it's tragic. So let's walk with Jesus, be in tune with his spirit, look at other people with the eyes of love. Of course, we're so angry in a righteous anger against this Equality Act and the horrible things that are going down in our country. Our country, it really needs the Lord. And that's why we pray for revival. But our job is not to do that salvation work. That's the Holy Spirit's job. Our job is to make Jesus attractive, you know, and love like he loved. Get to know the Jesus of the Bible. Read the scriptures, feast on them, meditate on them, and love the people in your sphere of influence. But guard your hearts, friends, against tradition. I know I'm guilty of it. Please forgive me, Lord. We don't want to be so um, engrossed in tradition and religion that we neglect to get to know Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, I thank you for that reminder, Lord Jesus, because those that should have known you best represented you the least the religious people of the day lord the pharisees and sadducees and scribes they knew so much bible they knew so much tradition and religion and yet their hearts were far from you and they didn't even really like people they liked their seats in the house they liked being puffed up with pride and arrogance and religious ways but they did not revere you jesus and and it's just heartbreaking and i i pray that against that in the church that as a body of christ we would be just that we would be a body we would be hands and legs and organs and feet and eyelashes and 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 um every tissue every element of the body is important jesus so help us to live out that organism of the body of christ father that we would not be religious that we would not look down upon others that might 
be different than us, that instead we would be pulled witnesses for your truth and we would link arms with like-minded believers. Lord, we don't want to have leaven in the church for all the sins that we've done against you, whether it's um, being like a Pharisee, forgive us of being so religious that we neglect the truth of your word. Help us to be bold and, and to be sensitive and to be um, so genuine to be genuine Christ followers, Lord. Please, Lord, we know that we're living in the last days, in the last moments, in the last hours. We know you're coming soon, Jesus. And like for me, I remember when I took Isaac to the Claremont Autism Center for his um, ABA special needs therapy, I was judgmental. I said, this is one of those liberal towns. This is one of those liberal schools. And I was so skeptical of that place. And yet you poured love into Isaac through the the graduate students there and yes many of them don't believe how I believe and many of them may be agnostic or atheist or have no faith at all but they loved on Isaac and for that I'm grateful and thankful so I don't want to be a religious zealot I want to be a woman after your own heart I want to be soft and tender and and uh, palatable and like soft clay in your master potter hands, Jesus. Mold me and shape me into the woman of God you want me to be. Mold and shape my brothers and sisters praying with me into the men and women you want them to be, Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus that anyone that has a prodigal child, a prodigal grandchild, prodigal friend, whomever, somebody they mentored who's walked away from you, that they would not feel one single ounce of guilt because it is not our job to save people. That's your job, Holy Spirit. It's our job to preach the gospel every day and if necessary use words it's our job to be worshipers in spirit and in truth and other people lord we pray for them we intervene and intercede and we pray god please lord i pray for the prodigals lord for those young women young men father those walking away from you jesus that if they felt like the church was critical of them or mistreated them or even maybe people have been abused in the church by somebody a leader please god i rebuke the enemy and his tactics of people falling away from the truth of who you are messiah jesus you are the way the truth and the life and no man can come to the father but by you and that is not bondage that is freedom knowing that we have access to the throne room of grace is freedom knowing that there is only way one way is freedom i don't want to go on any detours i want to walk straight with you jesus all the days of my life until my last breath lord and so father i just pray for forgiveness of all my sins i pray that we in agreement would say create in us a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit in us jesus thank you for the church thank you for the organism that is the church father red and yellow black and white whatever color whatever background we come from we want to worship you father i thank Thank you for the victory outreaches and the living ways and the churches that are reaching those that are look different than us you turn for christ lord maybe they're filled with tattoos or they're into drugs and alcohol or, or even people that were addicted to porn lord you are the way maker miracle worker you save souls lord so help us not to be critical of those that maybe have a different background than us lord help us to just walk in your ways to love you and to love others and to not compromise our truth and to know when to preach and when to be silent, when to speak and when to listen. Lord, your word says, be still and know that I am God. Your word says in Exodus, stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. And we pray for revival in my neighborhood right here in Ontario. I pray for all these neighbors, God, that they would come to know you, Jesus. I have a sign right here on my my home it says Jesus that people would drive by and they would say the Gonzalez family something is different about them they are different they have a special needs child they have a little teen daughter that's sweet and there's just something different about that family and that we would just radiate your love and that would be true of everyone praying in agreement with me right now that we would be different Lord we would be known by our love that our fruit would be love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness self-control help us have self-control Lord even on social media if we need to shut it off, help us to shut it off. If we need to not send that tweet or that text or argue with someone about politics, help us not do it. Help us to be bold, Father. I pray for our senators, for our House of Representatives, for our leaders, that this Equality Act, it would just stop in its track. Please, God. It would just be so awful for the church to be considered um, and the Bible to be considered hate speech. 
Lord, you know it's not, Lord. It's it's the gospel is a gospel of grace, Lord. That all we have to do is accept you. The blood has already been spilled, Father. So please, please, Jesus, do not allow this equality act to pass. I pray against it. Thank you for um, the internet that I was able to email our senators yesterday and ask them to vote no on it. And I pray for our governors, for the chaplains, for just our nation. I'm so grieved for our nation, and so I just pray for America, Lord, that she would just fall in love with you. I I pray for the young people, those that are still doing Zoom school at home, they would open up the Bible and read it. Please, God, save now, save now. I pray for the grieving this morning, for the Papalardo and Miller family, Jesus, for the Gurney family, Jesus. I pray for Erica as she lost her mom and her the grandkids and all of the siblings. They must be so sad mourning the loss of Erica's grandma. Would you comfort them, Lord? Wrap your arms of love around them. Your word says sorrow may last in the night, but joy comes in the morning. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You do bring beauty from ashes, Father. And I want to pray for this special little girl, which I can't say her name, who's getting counseling today for troubles that she's been having. She's angry at the church. She's angry mm -hmm. at her dad, but she's open to counseling. Would you breathe upon this pastor that will be counseling with this young lady today, Father? Would she just hear your word spoken, Lord? May it be... Um, just truth may she may her eyes be open to your love and that she would just walk in anger no more that instead the the shackles would fall off and she would say my jesus is real my jesus is love my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do comfort the brokenhearted today lord be with pastor joe and diane be with all of the churches mm -hmm. in this area lord pastor jack and i just thank you for that san jose pastor lord mike mcclure i think his name is that they said that it is wrong for them to um, restrict houses of worship from meeting. Praise you for that victory, God. And we've taken it for granted so many years, Lord. Oh, I don't feel good. I'm not going to church today. Oh, I, I just, um, I don't like this, this speaker today. I'm going to just, uh, you know, not go or whatever. You know, we, I, Father, we have taken it for granted, the freedoms that we have in America. And many of the freedoms are being taken away. So, Lord, may your word be written in our hearts that we may not sin against you. May When we have opportunity, whether it's online or in person, may we soak up all that you have for us, Jesus. Receiving your word and then living it out, Lord, that we would be faithful doers, not just hearers. We don't want to be forgetful. We want to be faithful, Lord. And we just love you. We worship you. We give you thanks for the cross, for your blood, for your forgiveness of sin, and for what you're doing in our churches in America. Lord, save now, Lord. So many people need you. And so we just pray that you would help others to not look at the sins of, you know, Ravi Zacharias or um, Carl Lentz or people that have sinned and misrepresented you. And we have failed and misrepresented you. Forgive us that people would not look at Christians. Instead, they would look at Christ. And that you would save many souls, Father. Please, this is heavy on my heart. I lay it at your feet and I thank you that you are coming again. I pray for revival. Holy Spirit, breathe on us. In Jesus' name, amen. And may God bless you. I hope that made sense. I just I just feel very grieved that um, sometimes in the church, there's a lot of traditions that we don't even realize. And the Holy Spirit needs that freedom to move in and through us and to not be shackled by our traditions i guess that's what i'm trying to say god bless you friends and i encourage you just stay close to jesus and don't let the things of this world um steal your joy god bless you